What's up, MK Saints and visitors and passer throughs? It's Mel and Keisha back with another eating check. Um, I'm Mel. I'm Keisha. And together we're walking the fat woman's shoes. <laughs> Did you just raise the roof for that? I raised it halfway like that, not like this. I raised it halfway. <laughs> well, tonight I have naked chicken poem and broccoli over some pasta. And I have shelled shrimp stir fry with broccoli, red, green, yellow bell peppers, mushrooms, onion, garlic, and a little crispy onions on top. Mm. We got our H2O. Mm -hmm. um, Cuss, y'all. Yeah. And uh, I it. guess that's about it, huh? Ready? I guess. God is good, God is good. Thank you for the mail of our church seed. Bless your holy name. Bless the prayers of the mail. Amen. Amen. Amen, guys. So, let us know what's going on in y'all neck of the woods. How y'all weather like. Um, if y'all eating with us and what you're eating. Also, let us know. Uh, the reason it's naked is because I didn't breed it. I just uh, cooked my chicken and put it in the sauce and threw it in the oven. Mm -hmm. Some people might call it Tetrazzini, but uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about the Tetrazzini. <clears throat> and a lot of my friends from out here in Dallas, they always talking about that chicken Tetrazzini. I be like, really? I'm serious. Scrappy won't you chill out. You know, scrap you have to get his little five minutes thing. Um, is the breading is what make it Parmesan? I guess. I don't know, but I didn't. I didn't put any breading on it. <clears throat> nice piece of broccoli. I just awesome. partially grilled my chicken, and I put it in the red sauce. See, I don't know if you can see that. There's no bread. I started to eat that too, but it's just my second day. Scrapping might be ready for a bath. Now I'm going to wait for my weekend day to eat my chicken. I don't know, I might make it Saturday. I guess he is ready. Scrapping out one of them dogs that fight you do. And they'll just sit there and take the bath. What he will fight you for though is a nail clipping. When I take him to the vet for them to clip his nails, they um they muzzle him. And if he's still cutting up after that, they'll uh give me a sedative and I bring him back the next day. Me and the boys were sitting up in here remembering 9-11. We was watching um what is that, SmackDown? And um, they rang some bells for 9-11. And I ain't gonna lie, I honestly thought after they finished ringing the bell, somebody was gonna sing. Somebody was there, let's get it on. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, that was like kind of rude. <laughs> I don't know. chicken chicken breast that's a wrap so many people were doing tributes to 9 11 a day mm -hmm. all I have to say is 
Thank God for CP time. Yeah. No, I say that because at the time of 9-11, one of my uncles was working at the Pentagon. But <coughs> he was running late. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was trying not to cough. Um, he was running late, and that's what saved him. Lord. Honestly, thank God that we didn't lose anybody in 9-11, but, I mean, I'm talking about our family members, but I feel just, I feel so bad about the people that did lose family members. You know, they were just... That was horrible. That was something that didn't even need to happen. Not at all. Mm. I can honestly see. Around that time, even a few years following, we lived in harmony a little better than we do now. That is true. people that really were suffering from it and still suffering from it now were the Muslims. And that's kind of sad. Yeah. What has it been, 17 years? Something like that. And they're still trying to persecute Muslims like it was yesterday or it was everybody's fault. And it wasn't. That's just cool. That's like that stuff. Uh, certain people can't go come to the country. Certain countries. That's cool. I'm not gonna go no farther because then I'm getting into politics. And and, you know, do politics and religion no bill. Anyway, what's good with you guys? interview that um had the evacuate I saw um I think it was a couple little video notifications where some people were saying um uh, emergency like um oh it's kind of spicy what I put in this mm -hmm. like storms video and um Somebody else had a video, and I think it said, pray, pray, pray. Y'all, please be safe, for real, for real. It's supposed to rain out tomorrow. It rained here today. Yeah, it did. I was out in the rain. Yeah. Man. It's starting to get a little cooler fall coming out. <laughs> she really gonna be in her kind of gear, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. She will be. What's that? Mm -mm. That's my onion. You can have a shrimp if you want. You really think I was gonna take your onion? Mm -hmm. You took my fries. And you know what? Y'all saw her another thing didn't even eat. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to be. I did eat them. No, I didn't. I ate them all. <laughs> but I ate them. You might as well say you ain't eat them. Y'all, I've been watching Family Feud. <laughs> I love it. I 
kind of moved my plants outside. I don't know if that was the best thing for them. Especially right, especially now. Why you say especially now? The rain. Well, the rain no. is good for them, but no, no, that's not why. Why? Crickets. Hey. Actually, they had one that jumped out the grass at me today. And yes, um, indeed. Curtis was trying to kill it. They were like, no, leave God's creature alone. And I started to be like that. Who said that? Who said that? You know who know. said it, don't you? No, not really. Two people said it, Buffy. actually. Early Mega Mind. Mm hmm. I should have knew that. Well, if it wasn't me, <laughs> and two people said to me, Curtis was involved. Come on, let's <laughs> do the math. Curtis tried to stump it. I didn't say it. And two people was involved. Okay. And um, Buffy and Muffy. Mm hmm. I started out, so I was right there with them. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. I was like, don't kill it. But then it dawned on me. Crickets eat crops. <laughs> and I have a nice little crop out there. I might have to do a video on them. Um, since I put them outside, I can't say that they've gotten bigger. But they greener. But then again, I did fertilize them before I put them outside. So I can't even say that. Um, oh, there's one in a bunch. But I'm going to go water them after I eat. Because I don't water my plants in the daytime. Because the heat will make them wilt. I only water my plants maybe two hours after the sun go down. But we ain't had no sun like that today. It's starting to get a little cool though. Maybe I should bring my plants back in at night. Mm -hmm. I hope it don't rain too bad tomorrow. Because I got to get out of here and go to school. Although, please don't let it rain. <laughs> if it ain't raining, I mean, if it rain bad, I mean, I can't just do it, you know, from home on my computer. But I don't mm -hmm. want to, I don't want to. You saying all that, but I don't want to be here just as much as you don't want me here. I be liking to get over. Obviously. Then seeing this door, I got to get a phone. Huh. <sighs> you say that Oh, well. Baby won't be here, so I'll be able to take a nap. Mm-hmm. Then it was raining like that, she cut the TV off. I wish I had an awning over my window. You like that light coming in? Hmm? You like that light coming in? Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Sometimes we used to have our rooms so dark, we didn't even know when it was daytime. Sometimes because it'd be so dark in there. That was all you. No, I can't say that. Thank you. Because um, we used to have a cover on the window. 
And Curtis took it. Mm -hmm. And that room was so light early in the morning. I was like, oh no. This ain't gonna work. But not be so dark, you don't know. You got to look at the clock. And you know what's the messed up thing about having to look at the clock? It's an analog clock. <laughs> don't have no lights on it. Mm -mm. Cause you know some of the, the um, hands on some analog clocks have light on it. Yeah. Now I don't. Three dollars Walmart. This girl right here. I'm saying I might just play my game no more. That's good. I keep ending the game at the same part. You know, before I really finish the mission. I done did this mission about four times. Just working on my nerves now. Because when you first started, <clears throat> Them beavers, you got to be on them beavers, or that's a wrap. I remember the first time, it took me about 20 times to beat them beavers. Then I cut the game off, and it started me back to the beginning of the mission. I was oh. like, oh man. Then I completed the whole mission, blew up the dam and everything, but it still didn't finish the mission. Oh, and if y'all wondering, yep, Outbreak Monkey caught me. What you mean, Mel? Well, for years, that's what we called Curtis, the Outbreak Monkey. Every time Curtis got a cold, he gave it to me. Yep. For like a good five, six years. What stopped me getting the cold from him? We went somewhere. And um, we got some flu vaccinations or cold vaccinations or something like that. And for like two, three years, he never gave me a cold. His little snotty nose cleared up and everything. Because I used to call him Snotty McDougal. Yeah, he was Snotty Pippin' around this year. And, um, I was saying it was going to be Alonzo. It was Curtis who gave it to me. She just knew it was going to be Lil' Beaver. No, actually, I did think it was going to be him. But he don't like to see me sick. You know, when he had stuff, he would offer it to me first. Before he messed with it. Because he offered me something. I was like, no, baby, you touched on that. And I don't want no cold. And he looked at me like, like <laughs> he <laughs> So he started offering me his stuff first, so I wouldn't get sick and whatnot. Take Curtis, huh? and then he won't even take responsibility for giving it to that me. That wasn't me. <laughs> but he's the only one with it. Mm -hmm. How well, you the I only can't. one with it? Mm -hmm. And I got it, but somebody else gave it to me. I keep telling them I'm old. I can't do these colds like that. <laughs> and what I didn't like about that cold was it came with a fever. 
I had a fever out this world last night. Yes, she did, y'all. I went to, I went to get under her, and she so hot, she was so hot. I'm like, whoa, she don't need me under her. She got her own heat. <laughs> Cause she likes to get under me cause I'm, I, I stay warm even though, yeah, cause I'm always hot, but I stay warm and when she get under me, she good, but I want to get under her, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I got enough of my own heat, mm -mm. Man. I your soup. inside and get my, my thermal. Well, no, I would have gone and got my jacket because it got that hood on me. But I was like, shoot. Ain't no way. What am I going to do when winter hit? I'm, I'm all right with fall and spring. She well, by the time like spring come, I don't care. I'll be just so happy to be outdoors. She's going to be wrapped up like a mummy, y'all. I'm telling you. Man, Keisha was watching this show on Netflix. It's like a British version of America's Fatal Attractions. Not Fatal Attractions where it's a love triangle type stuff or the crazy ex-boyfriend or the crazy wife or the crazy girlfriend. But this phrase, Fatal Attractions is about people having dangerous animals. Yeah, it's called peculiar pets. No, no, no. That's I'm talking animal. about fatal attractions. Oh. They used to come on the animal planet. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And the show that we watched, like Keisha said, was peculiar pets, right? I didn't see what was so peculiar about somebody having a wolf hybrid. You know, they have them in the... <laughs> What you looked around like that for? I'm like, did you see how big that thing was? Yeah, I was about to get to that. Only thing that might have been peculiar about it, that mug, no, he was huge. Mm -hmm. They was like, it's over yeah. six feet long. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I think they said it weighs something like seven or eight stones. Ain't, ain't a stone 14 pounds? It was like eight. Eight stone, yeah. How big is that really? That's like what? I don't know, it's big though. I ain't got time to go through my head with that. It's, it was big, it's big, but the woman was just kissing it, talking about. No, no, that thing was bigger than 112 pounds. This is all the man that I need and I don't need no other man. This is all the man I'm gonna ever have. And she even said, give me good people. <laughs> the thing old, so the, the hybrid was old. He was so when about he died, 15, 15, right? So yeah. when he died, she just go cremate him. But you know, I mean, that's all good because we cremated our dog, you know? But she said- You don't think that's kind of crazy? What, that we cremated our dog? Yeah. No. No, because your, your pet is like a part of your family. So, yeah. That's so, the first dog I ever created cremated created. in my life. Well. All our other dogs went to the city. But, uh, but anyway, 
you know, it wasn't even the fact or that she cremated him. It was the fact that, yo, God you rest his soul. Some other she kind said, of, you know, she's going to have the dog buried next to his ashes, mixed with her ashes when she died. She, that, that's her thing. She wants her ashes and his ashes mixed together so they can be one. <laughs> I was like, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you, All excuse right. me. Oh my God, did she just, did she, Curtis is like, yeah, she said that, she she said it. <laughs> they, had, they had these other people, these older people, they couldn't let go of their animals, not even the debt, so they had all the animals that they had, taxidermy, then they had a lot of cats, but not just domestic cats, they had, um, uh, uh, um, a fishing I didn't see cat. Him. I was that was the last ones. Man, quit telling me. You know oh, I'm okay, gonna go back right, and watch right, it. All right, all right, okay. Well, I ain't gonna talk about that. What about that dragon? Forget the dragon. How that about dragon, the dragon? That Komodo dragon. The one with key. the several. The several what? The cat. The several. Se several. And she said she treated better than her kids. Yeah. And I'm like, let one of us say something like that. Child protection in our life like that. But she get to she say something like that that she treat her animal this this thing that could act that could literally eat her kids because the animal is known to eat children. No, it's not known to eat children. Uh huh. That thing was known to eat children when they came back. Yeah, it was talking about it's known to eat kids. It can eat kids. Then the man of had something. Of course, it could eat kids if yeah. it was eating whole chickens. Yeah. Then the man had something that's just. That eats babies. I'm like, what human babies? I'm like, what is wrong yeah, with these people? Yeah, monitor lizards in, 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 like, in them areas of the the world where they at. Yeah, and I'm they like, are known to go into people's homes and steal their babies. I'm like, what in the world? Oh, y'all thinking with these peculiar pets? You these are peculiar it. pets, man. Oh boy, with the kimono. Mm. You know the kimono can kill you with a bite. Yeah, did not you because of the pressure, but because of the bacteria and germs in its saliva. Okay, well, did you see the mama kissing him in the mouth? Huh? And letting him lick the thing was licking her all in her nose and in her face. The kimono dragon. I didn't see that. Yeah, see, you went to sleep. I'm like, I was up here like, what in the world? And she got me watching. I look over, she's sleeping. <laughs> I'm like, ain't this the bottom? I said, it looked like every time I got ready to turn it, she moved and said something pertaining to the show. I'm like, I told y'all oh, she waiting for me to sleep. She waiting for me to <laughs> wait for me to turn it so she could be like, what you turning that for? You know, I, I really thought she was woke, but you know, you know what? Next time she just gonna have to tell me something because I was like, I was like. Oh my God! People really—that was that was just horrible, horrible. And you then that, this woman the had person? chickens, rabbits, all kind of stuff under her cabinet for her cat. Like you said that. Really? How about the man who raised the rats? Talking about, I really love. Rats. Yeah, I love rats. And I he love picked raising the rat up and he and let it run on his face. Yeah, and then he the next went, thing he mm, went in a bow. Yeah, just. <laughs> Killed him like what in the world? Why in the love it? Come to find out, it was for his uh his dragon. Yeah, huh? it's for the dragon, for the Komodo dragon. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they let it roam. Was it a Komodo or, or was it the monitor lizard? No, that was the Komodo dragon. Okay, that was the Komodo dragon because the monitor lizard. Remember, he just was... let that thing go anywhere, but it. It went on. It would go in one particular spot. No, 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 no. Mm. That lizard. That was nasty. Oh, oh. That he was, was nasty. letting the thing do his business on carpet, wherever he yeah. wherever wanted in his house. Yeah, just go yeah. wherever, or whatever. And it doesn't matter. All, all I'll do is just clean it up. But he walking in the truck in that. That is nasty. Then when he went to go clean the thing feet, the thing bat him with his tail. Like, yeah. get away from me. That's what the Komodo dragon did that man too. I didn't see that. He said, we play with him. We have our time with him. Me and mama, we go play with him. <laughs> Tell him about his wife. You know, we go play with him and everything. And when he's ready, when he don't want to be bothered, he'll make this big, he'll have this big, uh, 
you know, his throat a contract. Okay, puff up. Yeah. And so that right there lets you know, he, all right, I didn't play with y'all. I'm tired. Leave me alone. He said, if his tail hits you, he angry. That tail went, what? In that man just, boy, I could have fell out. Lord, oh, girl. You saying that. Girl. You, you hear me and Curtis conversation the next day about it? Uh-uh. We was talking about, you know, I would love to have these big cats and wild animals and whatever, whatever. I was like, okay, Curtis, you saw what the, uh, what they, like, the woman with the several, no, it wasn't her. It was the dude with the lynx. Yeah. Okay. I feel so sorry for that lynx. He made it through, though, huh? Yeah, he, he did. He didn't die later on or nothing. No. no. Okay. Well, the lynx, the man brings him in the house every day. But when he go to bed, the lynx go in the cage. Yeah. He ain't stupid. And, and not in his house, out in the yard. <laughs> I said, see, if we had those type of things, they would stay in the yard. We would not go in the cage and play with it. We wouldn't do none of that. We would just have an area. We'll throw the food over there, let him go over there, close that off and clean it out and go about our business. <laughs> it would stay in the cage. No, man. That is no, well, you shouldn't have it if you're going to do that. How you gonna say that? You keep fishing the fish tank and don't take them out. <laughs> that is so different, B. <laughs> that is so different. <laughs> oh my god. How's that hard. different? Because they're in water. You know, they're in water. I mean, where they gonna go? I mean, come on. Being out here like this, they'll die. Okay, they have then, to be in water. That, that's the difference. How about this? We had the bird, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me we would have really, really let him just fly around high. No, 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 no ma'am. All right, then. Same no, thing. No, ma'am. I'm going to just be real. No, the ma'am. closest that bird would have got to flying around is if we went to the bathroom. And I let him fly in there. And then even then, I couldn't let him go up in there. You can't be messing with all my uh toiletries and stuff like that. And then just... <laughs> That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> That's why I couldn't let my bird fly around mm-hmm. like that. And um Yeah, that's why you give them a big cage that they can, you know, give them their little mansion. You know, give them their cage that's so big it's a mansion. You know what I'm saying? It's a mansion for a bird. You know, they get to fly around and you know, there it is. Mm-mm. Cause I was trying to attempt to take Sammy out before Sammy died. Yeah. And Sammy was like not having none of that. Are you ever gonna get more? Yeah, I'm gonna give me some more. I've been doing research, so to speak. I don't want to go to a pet smart again. I normally buy my my small fish, well, any of my small animals from real pet shops. Mm-hmm. And um, I've been doing my research on looking for a pet mm-hmm. shop to go Excuse to. Me. I found one. I was supposed to get the birds last week. But I was like, nah, I don't want to deal with that right now. And then Keisha keep it so cold, it's going to freeze to death anyway. So we might as well not get the bird. It's about to be winter. And your point is? It's about to be winter. You know y'all going to have the heat yeah. on. All day long. Excuse me. Trying to kill the quiche. You know, I'm just, yeah. They we really going to be saying they got the quiche. We don't keep the heat on during the winter. No. Well, I think we need to go because I got to blow my nose. And I don't think y'all want to hear all see you. <laughs> all right, y'all. We hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until next time, we love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay Talk safe. Talk about an ASMR. Be all day, y'all. <laughs> 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 oh, man. People do all kind of ASMR. Well, I'm not about to so, sit there and just blow my saying, nose. I'm just saying. But, um. Uh, Anyway, it's about to run. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. Until next time, we're going to plant you down and dig you later because I know y'all can pick up what we are putting down. You hear me? She got to blow her nose. She got the uh, she got the thing over there. And Okay, it's going to start running. Peace, y'all.